Hi all, in this session, I am going to discuss about unique, unique zero and priority if statements in system Verilog. Okay, first of all, this system Verilog supports if, else if and else statements. Uh, what are these? These are all the conditional statements, right? So, by you, based on that, the decision will be made whether to execute the uh, conditions or statements inside the if else block. So, the system Verilog also supports unique if and unique zero if and priority if. These are all used for violation checks. Uh, if we use this, we can get the error or warnings. Okay. So, we will see one by one. First one is unique if. So, unique is the keyword. We use to write the unique if statements. So, we, we have to use unique keyword before the if statement. Okay. So, this will, this evaluates all the conditions in any order. There is no restriction on order. So, the, it evaluates the condition in any order. And also, it reports an error when none of the if conditions are true or there is no else statement. That means, uh, in statements, if multiple if else statements, when none of the if conditions are true, if no match is found, then or there is no else statement. Only if and else if, else if, else statements are there, there is no, uh, uh, there is no else statement. That time also, it gives an error. And when there is a more than one match form, suppose your if statement and else if statement, both are same, like uh, both are true. That time also, it gives an error, okay? It reports an error. And come to the unique zero. This is same as unique only. But what's the difference is, it does not report a violation if none of the conditions match. Here, if uh, none of the if conditions are match, that uh, conditions are true. Or if there is a no more than one match form, when there is a more than one match form, that time this unique um, if statement will give the error, right? So here it is not like that. It does not report a violation if none of the conditions match. If uh, none of the conditions match, that time it will not report an error. That is one difference between unique and unique zero if. Okay. So come to the priority if. Here it evaluates the all condition in sequential order. So in unique and unique zero, there is an, uh, no restriction on order. So it can evaluate the condition in any order, right? So in prior priority if, it evaluates all condition in sequential order. One by one, it uh, checks, okay? So it uh, it gives an error or violation is reported when none of the conditions are true or if there is no else clause to the final if construct. Same as unique only. The error will be same for the these conditions, but only the difference is a priority as it the name suggests first statement will be check first okay it evaluates all the condition in sequential order we will go to the code and we will discuss this in there and you will get the better understand so here i have an example for all this unique unique zero and priority okay so first we will see normal if else statements here you know that these are the conditional statements and here what we will do if the condition is true uh, then only the decision will be made whether to execute the statement inside that block or not. Okay, that will be decided by using the conditions. So here, if you have multiple if, else if, else if and these statements, which statement is true, that only executed. Okay, like that, the normal if. Here we have, I am I am declaring two variables, a is equals to 10 and b is equals to 20. So here we have three conditions, a equals to b, a less than b and a is greater than 10. Okay, greater than 50. So, here A is less than B. This statement will be executed according to the normal if else st statements. So, here our aim is to write the unique, right? Unique if statements. So, for that what we have to do? We have to write unique keyword before the if statement. Okay. So, here now we know that unique key, uh, unique if how it executes it evaluates all the condition in any order there is no restriction on order and and it will report an error when there is more than one match found or when there is no match found and if there is no else part that time it will shows an error we will see one by one okay so i will run the code here this condition is true right a is less than b that will be executed C A is less than B. Okay. What if there is no match found? What if there is no match found? Now also it will show an warning or error. Huh, yes, because it will not show error. Why? Because we have else statement. If you have else statement, you will not see any error. 
okay because if no match is found and if you have a else statement you will not see an error let's comment this now we will find an error there are three cases where you see the error what is if more than one match found or if there is no match found and if there is no else part okay here see warning no condition matches because a is not greater than b and a is not greater than 50 and a is not equals to b so here no match is found so what if two matches means uh, if both if two statements are matching more than one statements matching a is less than b and uh, a is less than 50 okay see more than one condition matching statement right if more than one condition matches or there is no match or there is else part is also not there right that time you will see an error now we'll see if you have else part or not that is not matter here more than one condition matches right so if you don't have else part that time also you will get an error and if more than one condition true that, that time also you will get error if no match is found that time also you will get an error now, so now we will see unique zero here there is uh, no much difference between unique and unique zero the only difference is in unique zero if none of the conditions are true it will not show an warning okay so none of the conditions are true means here a is greater than b and a is greater than 50 none of the conditions are true right so it will not show an error yes there is no error okay this is the difference between unique and unique zero but if there are multiple uh, uh, matches found you can see an error and if you don't have else part that time also you can see the error see more than one condition matching statement so in conclusion what we can say is if there is if none of the conditions are true here if a greater than b and a greater than 50 so uh, if that is the case that time it will not show an error that means if none of the conditions are true the unique zero statement will not show any warning and if you uh, if the multiple matches found if more than one match is found or if we don't have else part that time it can show the warning okay this is the difference between unique and unique zero now we will see priority if so we know that priority if here uh, the one thing is the order order of execution so in unique and unique zero we didn't have any restriction on execution order right any order it can be evaluated the conditions so but in priority if uh, the conditions will be evaluated in a sequential manner first it checks the first statement first if statement if the based on the condition whether it is true or false it goes to the next statement to check the condition is true or not okay so in priority if uh, and you, you we will see the error or we will see the warning when there is a, a no match found when there is no match found and if there is a no else part that time also we can see the error only two cases where we can see the warning or error okay here we will first we will see normal conditions okay so here we uh, we will get the second output like this a is less than b we will get because one condition is true since it is a sequential manner first it checks here a is not equals to b here so it goes to the next l statement l if statement so here the condition is true so this statement will be executed a is less than b okay this is normal case and if we have multiple matches here the this this part and this part is true right a is less than b is true and a is less than 50 is also true here also you will not see an error because if there are multiple matches we will not see the error because the order is sequential first it goes to the first statement and here we don't have a match right like if this is false so then it goes to the second statement here we have match it will not go to the next conditions because here only it the condition is satisfied right so this statement will be executed this is not the case in unique and unique zero 
that's why the priority if uh, if is like uh, differ from the unique and unique zero okay so order is sequential so it will not check for the next condition so here uh, this will be uh, executed so what if no match is found no match is found means we will see the error here we will not see the error because else part is there right so this statement will be executed now even though there is no match but we have a else part so this part will be executed so now i will comment this else part and you, we will see the error if there are if there is no match found we will we can see the warning or error okay warning see no condition matches so in conclusion what we can say if there is a no match found in statements and if we if we don't have any else part that time we can see the uh, warnings in priority if con uh, statements okay these are all about unique and unique zero and priority if hope you understand uh, you also take one example and practice yourself thank you